Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> My blasted right eye. I burst a blood vessel in it somehow. Well, looks like a traffic accident. Just happened. Just woke up yesterday morning and I did have a big sneezing fit Saturday evening. And I was smoking uh, skunky rollies cigarettes. And they were making me cough. I don't think it's my blood pressure. It might be something else. <laughs> I haven't been out for three days. <laughs> Rubbish weather. Anyway, uh, my pocket money came through. Or should I call it my art grant? My monthly art grant subsidy came through, if you know what I mean. So I've been shopping <clears throat> like a pet shop boy. S H O P P I N G. I've been shopping. Ding, dong, 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 dong. Have I lost you yet? It's only just over a minute if I lost you now. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, bought supplies. And because it's the beginning of the month, I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. Cancer sticks. And <sighs> up goblin. Now, to me now, at the moment, right? oh, it's 10 to 9, by the way. Again, on to 9 o'clock. 9 a.m.? A.m.? A.M. 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 On a Monday morning. What was I just saying? All right. I know to you it might be 9 a.m. But to me, it's past midday. Because I've been up since half past four. Up <laughs> half past four. So uh, four hours. Yeah. So it's about lunchtime now for me. I've had breakfast and dinner already. Yeah. Anyway, it looks... Uh, right, yeah, hobbies. Hobgoblin. It's English, you know. I, I don't hate the English that much. Not to drink every year. Especially when it's cheap and naughty. Good old pig and Oxfordshire in the woods. With the fairies and the and the other and the hobgoblins and the um what else is there? Other pagan things. Yeah. I oh, <laughs> Boris oh, Boris Johnson's bought a house there. Well, can you call it a house? It was it's mostly about four hundred years old. Tudor. Well, it was redesigned in Victorian times or something. It's got a moat. And it's in Oxfordshire. In the area of Whitney or around there somewhere. Four million quid. That's a snip. It's a, a grade two listed building. And uh, <laughs> prices are always... If you want to buy your cheap house, you know. Buy a grade listed, you know, like... Something like um, on an estate... Uh, some estates they sell off the um, to, um, they call those um, small houses and the entrances. Uh, not toll booths. Oh, what the fuck do they call them? Anyway, any house was say great, great to smaller. Obviously, it's two thirds the price of a normal house <clears throat> because of all the palaver with them. Um, you know, with the planning permission. <laughs> Most probably, it has an outside toilet because. <laughs> It's very difficult to get an inside toilet and a great listed building, believe it or not. <laughs> Cold running water? Mm. Electricity? Oh, forget that. <laughs> wheel oil. <laughs> get a supply of wheel oil for the gas lamps. <laughs> very, very uh, politically correct. Get some wheel oil. <laughs> what am I talking of here? Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, yeah, yeah. I was going to bring this one up. Uh, sounds like the poor girl has been found. That Nicola... Bully, is it? Bully. Nicola Bully. 
I don't know what the hell they've been doing for the last few weeks. You know, it's you found under these overhanging bushes in the river, a mile away from these seats where she was last seen, or where you think, what's going on there? How did that happen? You know, what, you know, what's, what, what? So, something dodgy here. There's something seriously dodgy. Well, you know, the own, um, said it so, yes, but two weeks, right? But there's, some, there's something strange going on here. And the police are involved in some what way. They should have found her. There's no two ways about it. You know, the first thing you do is, whichever way the current is, go when you go down and you look under banks, under bushes and the banks and all that. There's something very strange going on here. And I, uh, and I don't want to say anything. I'm not going to join the fucking whatever's. Poor girl. Yeah, but the main thing is now, right? She should have been found. Further down, it's not even, I thought it was tidal, but it isn't. There's a weir. After that, there's a weir, or maybe, I don't know. It's all still. That's why it's all still. There's, there's a weir there, and it falls down to the next level type thing. And then it becomes tidal. But found under the bank, under bushes, a mile away, and they were supposed to have done a, a search. It doesn't add up. It's, it just does not add up. You know, as if they didn't want to find her. I don't know why. Christ, I'm like, you know, these cadaver dogs. You've only got to go down the side of the bank. A cadaver dog smells of dead bodies. You would have smelled this right away. It, it just doesn't add up, this. You know, it's as if, I don't know. Did they look in that, in that area before? They, what's the, you know, did they make notes? Did they get their, you know, their, their copper notebook out, you know, you know, and, and you open it in court and give evidence. Or, it's something strange going on here. Very strange. Very, very strange. She should have been down in, in, on that same day. River search? Bloody hell, man. Something strange. <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Otherwise, uh, they'll come after me. Well, very strange, very strange, very strange. <coughs> it's all very peculiar. And it's, you know, and it's turning into a bloody soap opera, you know. And, you know, uh, when something happens, it suddenly turns in. I know the police should just ignore the journalists. Don't feed them. Don't feed the dogs. Just do your job, ignore, don't have a PR department and all the rest of it. Let them bloody call, criticise you to the end of heaven and then the end of the bloody, until the cows come home. Just do your job, don't waste your time dealing with press. Never mind what they say, you know. <sighs> Fucking walk out snowflake times. I'll just trust the police to, f but I don't know, there's something strange about this. She should have been found uh, on the same day, really. Well, well at least two days at a push. You know, I mean, something strange. Anyway, right, ten minutes, have a good Mondays now. Poor girl, poor lady, 45. I was 45 once. Yeah, I'm having some beers. I don't know.